Hey everyone, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small and Star Wars Legion Week continues on the channel. This time we are unboxing and taking a look at the ATST unit expansion. So, I'm kind of excited about this one, I'm not going to lie. We get the ATST, so he's famous, he's been in um, Return of the Jedi, he was I think in the background of the Hoth battle on Hoth as well. He's well established and one of the most iconic war machines of the Empire and it's really cool that uh, he's in the game. Now this model is $50 retail, it's a big model so we're thinking it, right now it's like the largest model that this is the equivalent of 40k, you know, your, your Land Raider or your tank which is cool. So a uh, $50 expansion on the back I mean, look at that thing so cool. Um, it comes with a few weapons options and a lot of cards. So the contents here, it says one plastic miniature, unit cards, six upgrade cards, assorted tokens, and a rule sheet. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this up. So we have a tray, nothing else in the box. We have our rule sheet. Okay, so this guy looks a little bit more complicated than anything else I've seen so far in the Star Wars Legion range. Still, that's a lot less parts than a, assembling a Land Raider. So they're still going for ease, but that is... That's a few parts to put together. Ah, page two. Assembly guide is going to make it very easy. I apologize for the glare, guys. Very cool. All right. So we have the stand, big stand, cards. We'll take a look at those. Legs. This kind of feels like a different plastic. Sounds like a different plastic too. More parts to the legs. I see some weapons in there, the feet, and the main body. All right, let's take a look at some of this. Oh, that is cool. A lot of this is done. This is nice. So I don't know. They they preassemble parts of it that are really finicky. Like I know if that was a separate piece that we had to assemble then that could break easier and stuff like that. And just look at that even on the underside. Can't you guys just see Chewbacca throwing Imperial Troopers out of that hatch. That's pretty cool. So, oh, this is significantly larger than the Star Wars Assault ATST. I wonder if this is correct scale or been scaled down a little bit. I and mean, it looks big. So, for 50 bucks, and that's the size of my palm, it's a good size model. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, assemble this. We're not going to paint it yet. I think we can assemble it and then paint it. It doesn't look like anything will be too hidden. Maybe leave the legs off. Uh, but so you can take a look at it. But uh, for that, we will go ahead and look at the cards. All right, so here's a look at uh, uh, the cards and tokens. So you get one unit card. So we can see... Again, I, I'm just assuming that's points. He's 195 points. Very cool. You get one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Comms jammer, long range comm link, 
General Weiss, ATST mortar launcher, 88 twin light blaster cannon, DW3 concussion grenade launcher. So it looks like these might be add ons, which is very cool. And here is the token sheet. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, here's the assembled ATST. Um, I really, really liked this kit. It uh, went together pretty well. Um, the legs had a lot of parts to them, and it's got some posability to it. I haven't glued the head on to facilitate uh, easier painting, so right now it's just kind of balancing on there. But um, you can see when this is assembled, even the parts you're not going to see are really well detailed. And then you could, um, you know, pose these legs in different uh, different ways. I think I'm going to cant his head off to the side, maybe make it look like he's shooting Ewoks or something like that. But you've got some room to uh, to glue it in, or if you want, I guess you can magnetize that and make it movable. It is kind of nice to actually have the head separate for uh, transport, but I'm not sure. It's not too bad. All right, so that's the assembly. Um, as far as any difficulties I ran into, I really didn't. Um, there was a couple of questions from the pictures, just exactly how these legs go together. But once you play with it for a few minutes, it's, it's pretty obvious how they go. And they do have left and right on a lot of the pieces, so you can tell which, which part goes with which leg, which is nice. Um, the head goes together really well because it's really you're just snapping these weapons on. Uh, this weapon can be replaced or swapped out with a different weapon um, and it, it just pops in and out. Uh, you can, there's plugs and if you don't want the things you see here on the sides, you can just put in plugs and it doesn't have anything. I didn't glue the big giant missile launcher or whatever it is, grenade launcher on the side of the cockpit. I may or may not or magnetize it, I'm not sure. But uh, let's give you an idea of the size of this thing because I really don't think you can appreciate it uh, just looking at it here without some sense of scale. All right, all right so scale wise, here is a, uh, this is a Legion, the Legion Darth Vader. So you can see even in scale with the other units, it's appropriately huge. Um, here it is with, you know, a 40K model. How does this compare to 40k vehicles? Because this is a $50 kit, which is similar to what you might pay for um, some Warhammer 40k models. This is uh, one of my son's very old um, Rhino chassis, just to give you a size. Um, you know, Land Raider obviously would be much bigger, but you'll see that the size-wise, the this is a um, a big model. So fifty dollars is quite reasonable, especially considering what it uh, what it is. So um, it scales really well with the the forty k. It looks good. Now, what I find uh, really funny was I wanted to pull out a ATST from Imperial Assault. So this is the Imperial Assault ATST, a really cool model and all, but you can see he's really tiny. Here's an Imperial Assault guy a Star Wars Legion guy. Now you see they really underscaled the uh, the ATST for Imperial Assault to make that game, to make it I guess fit the board better. This, I don't know if it's true scale, but it, it feels a lot more uh, more to scale, more true. So it, uh, it will be interesting to see. But there you go, that is the assembled, I'll try to keep his head from falling off, that is the assembled mighty ATST. All right, folks, there you go. That's a look at the Star Wars Legion ATST unit expansion. So, uh, really excited about this one. This is cool. I can live out all my Ewok squashing dreams with this model. Um, he is really cool. Uh, so again, $50, is it worth it? Well. 
yeah, if you like Star Wars and you like uh, Imperial technology, this would be a no-brainer. He looks to be really cool in-game, um, and he looks to be just an exceptional model if you're a collector. Um, so that is, uh, that's it, you know, even if you don't play the game, uh, you want a small scale, pretty accurate model of a Imperial ATST. Here you go. Um, yeah, $50 is steep, but again, um, comparing it to what you pay for other games, it's cheaper if not on par, so not, uh, not feeling it too bad. Plus, you might be able to find it online for a little bit cheaper if you look around. Uh, but even at its retail price, that's not bad. So please, um, as always, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Uh, also check us out on Facebook at All Miniatures Great and Small. Uh, you can keep up with us there. We post pictures of um, upcoming battle reports and what we're working on. And you can also ask us questions, which is great. Um, but as always, we appreciate you watching. Keep on wargaming.